in last session we have talked about the or model and now in this uh, particular session we will talk about the normative uh, decision model is there. In this uh, normative decision model uh, we will talk about the decision styles model, 5 decision making styles, uh, autocratic uh, is there and the consultative is there uh, and the group is there. Uh, so, autocratic A1, A2 and the consultative C1, C2 and the group is there. So, here in this normative decision model we will talk about the levels of participation, uh, decision quality and acceptance, leadership decision tree case studies, research papers, book recommendations and references as usual. So, in normative decision model of leadership believes decision making is a uh, crucial element of leadership and the model helps the leaders decide to which degree their team members should participate in decision making process. So, it is always a crucial element of uh, uh, that uh, leadership is this that is always leader has to decide that which degree the team member should participate in decision making process. Because uh, you can have the uh, either you do not allow to the team members to participate that is the autocratic A1 is there or there is the yes up to certain extent you are allowing them. So, autocratic A2 is there or consultative C1 is there and consultative C2 is there and therefore, in that case you will find that is the these are the different levels of the participations are there. It was originally developed by the Victor Vroom and Philip uh, uh, Yeton in their 1973 book uh, Leadership and Decision Making uh, and so it is also called the uh, Vroom Vetton contingency model is there. So, Vroom uh, Yeton uh, model of the decision making model uh, where uh, you can find out that is uh, again that is a, a leader has to decide that is what will be the degree of participation in the decision making process is there. And uh, if it is in the decision making process, uh, this particular um, uh, uh, level of uh, uh, the followers that, ha that has to be decided uh, by the uh, participation is there. In normative decision model uh, was des uh, designed to improve some aspects of leadership effectiveness. Uh, and in this case, Vroom and Yeton first investigated the decision making process leaders. The very, very important uh, point is this in the leadership is that is a decision taking decision specially on the basis of that vision. You are creating a vision as a leader. So, on the basis of your vision you want to make a, a particular uh, uh, road map and during that uh, implementation of road map uh, you are supposed to take certain decisions. So, that first investigated the decision making process that what, what decision making process the leaders are uh, implementing in the group settings are there. They discovered a continuum of decision making process uh, uh, ranging from the completely autocratic leveled A 1 to completely democratic where all members of the group have equal participation that is the level uh, G 2 is there. So, G 2 level is that is the collaborative is there where the all members of the group uh, they, they are having the equal participation. When we are talking about the autocratic A1 and A2, then in that case it is the very, very limited uh, uh, participation is there or you can say that is a zero participation is there by these, uh, these members. While in case of the consultative 1 and consultative 2, uh, then this type of this normative decision model, uh, it has become very, very important that is the uh, how they are making this uh, 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 the involvement of your team members into the decision making model. If you are making the involvement in the team decision making model, then in the autocratic processes the leader solves the problem or makes the decision by himself or herself using the information available at that time. So, uh, uh, here it is totally the leader is not involving uh, the their uh, team members rather than he is trying to solve the problems by himself. Now, it has been observed that many times it is becoming the very, very uh, autocratic leaders uh, that is they decide by their own only about uh, this particular uh, uh, models uh, they decide right. Uh, they, they, they own uh, many Indian leaders so they are having this type of the uh, leadership uh, styles, but the period of time it has been changed and the lead Indian leaders and managers now they have shifted from the A 1 to the G 2. 
earlier uh, it was the A1, but now now most of the leaders uh, they are using the G2 style is there. The leader obtains any necessary information from followers and then decide on a solution to the problem. So, here they are taking the help of the followers, but their help of the followers to get the information, but ultimately the decision will be taken by the leader by himself is there and then as a result of which uh, uh, then uh, the decision is to be taken by the leader himself only, only involvement of these uh, followers is to provide the information. In the C1, the leader shares the problem with the relevant followers individually and getting their ideas and suggestions uh, without bringing uh, them together as a group. So, therefore, uh, uh, here it is a selective. Hmm? Uh, la, la, in the last session, we have talked about the uh, leader member exchange theory and in leader member exchange theory, they have talked about the uh, inner circle and the outer circle. Hey na? So, uh, inner followers and outer followers. So, therefore, we have, when we talk about the relevant followers, so they are the selective followers that have been considered for the purpose and then in that case, we will say that leadership style is that is the C1 style is there that is the consultative processes are there. In the C2, her followers in a group meeting. Well, in case of the C1, it is the individual followers have been taken into the, into the consideration. So, X, Y, Z, they will give their individual uh, uh, the information uh, to the leader to take the decision is there. Uh, and uh, uh, that followers influence uh, is there, but in C2 you will find it is a collective. It is a group of the meeting and therefore, they make the decision which may or may not reflect the followers influence and therefore, it is not necessary that they will have the uh, influence of the followers because it is a group discussion is there, group, group process is there. In G2, the leader shares the problem with his followers as a group together they generate and together. Now, the point is this that is that together they generate and evaluate the alternatives and attempt to reach the agreement consensus on a solution. Uh, the leader's role is much like that of a chairman coordinating the discussion is there. So, here we find that is the, uh, the leaders are taking the decisions on the basis of uh, that, uh, uh, that together is this, this becomes a very, very important and if they are taking this together, they generate and evaluate the alternatives, then we will say it is a group process is, is there and, and uh, here um, the um, actually it, it is not the leader's role is that is the he himself is taking the decision rather as a coordinator, he is coordinating and not as an individual he is taking the complete decision, keeping it focused on the problem and making sure the critical issues are discussed and therefore, in that case that whatever the critical issues are there uh, that has been discussed as a coordinator, uh, everybody in the group members they will participate, they will discuss and they will decide about uh, this particular problem and uh, always ensure that is there whatever the key critical issues are there in that particular problem. For example, if we are taking a decision about the retrenchment of manpower, then in the retrenchment of manpower uh, it will be decided that is the how uh, this uh, um, uh, the uh, whether we have to go by the voluntary retirement scheme or we have to go by the shifting of the manpower or we have to uh, make the turnover or layoff of the employees. So, therefore, in that case all these decisions will be taken critical issues are discussed uh, and by, by this in, in this group processes G2 is there and uh, here this these critical issues which have been de de discussed and that will be decided by the member itself. Leader can provide the group with for information or ideas uh, uh, that he has, but he does not try to press them to adopt his solution. So, here it becomes very, very important that whatever the information or ideas that uh, he has uh, uh, the leaders is providing, uh, then he does not try to press them to adopt his solution. So, he, uh, in case of the previously, in the previously we have tried, uh, we have seen that is the he himself is taking the decision. While here he does not uh, uh, try to praise them to adopt his solution. And therefore, when we talk about that is the whatever the solution he is having and that solution is not have been been uh, adopted by this particular uh, uh, the uh, uh, by the uh, leader himself only, but by the group. Moreover, leaders adopting this level of participation are willing to accept right. Uh, and uh, they, they are because they it is a collective decision is there. 
whenever we are talking about the decision quality and acceptance is there after establishing a continuum of decision processes Vroom and Neveton established criteria to evaluate the adequacy of the decisions um, made criteria and they believed would be cred uh, credible to leaders and equally applicable across the five levels of participation is there. So, whatever the decisions uh, is, uh, is to be taken, then Vroom and Vetten established uh, that they, uh, how to uh, uh, evaluate right, that particular uh, criteria and therefore, there will be the different criteria and adequacy of the decisions will be met and the, this will, would be believed to leaders uh, uh, that is the in the five levels of participation. Vroom and Vetten believed decision quality and decision acceptance were the two most important criteria for judging the adequacy of a decision is there. So, decision quality means uh, simply that if the decision has a rational or the objectively determinable better or worse alternative, the leader should select the better alternative. So, here decision quality that if the decision has a rational or objectively determinable right. So, therefore, in that case that particular rational or the object uh, objectively whatever the decisions are to be taken right that should be the better or worse alternative as there and the leader should select the better alternative and uh, this this will be depending upon that is the, uh, uh, the all information is provided by the group members. But the decision is by, by the better decision will be taken by the leader. Also, the, uh, the Vroom and Welton also developed a set of questions uh, under the decision tree to protect the quality and acceptance by eliminating decision processes and that would be wrong or inappropriate and therefore, in that case uh, what happens decision quality is becoming very, very important and this decision quality will be decided by the acceptance by the uh, acceptance right. So, therefore, in that case that uh, uh, any, uh, any process that, that uh, is not uh, appropriate or wrong that that inappropriate uh, or wrong that has to be eliminated. Generally these questions concern the problem itself and the amount of uh, what will be the uh, set of questions. So, the set of questions will be consist of the problem itself, the amount of pertinent information uh, possessed by the leader and the followers and various situational factors are there. Room and Vetton incorporated these questions into a decision tree. Primarily, these include seven key aspects in form of seven questions to guide the leader to appropriate style. So, there in here uh, always uh, these are uh, seven uh, key aspects are there situational factors uh, into a decision tree uh, then that is that uh, how it has been decided. So, the first is and uh, is the quality of the decision important Vroom and Elton's leadership decision tree talks about with, so you will talk about the yes or no. So, uh, if it is uh, no right then in that case is team commitment to the decision uh, important is there uh, and if it is no then definitely then there is no further uh, 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 discussion will be there. However, um, is the uh, team is commitment to the decision uh, is important right because we are talking about the quality of the decision is there then yes uh, then we will go for the uh, have inf we will go for the taking the enough information. So, enough information is to make the decision on your own and uh, here on this particular decision the problem is well structured. If we say yes and then if we make the decision on your own and then when we say no then definitely in that case uh, uh, we will find that is the uh, here we will go it is the well structured problem. And if the if the problem is not uh, well structured right if it is no then in that case the decision yourself would be the team supported yes that is the autocratic 2 in the autocratic 2 style a 2. So, in the a 2, a 2 style what is decided that is the quality of the decision important yes is team committed yes do you have enough information to make the decision on your own yes and if you made the decision yourself would be team support it is there. Similarly, you will find that is whenever we are talking about leadership decision tree uh, then the, then it is the a 1 uh, c 2 uh, c 2 a 1 g 2 
uh, and then again that is a group discussion is there, autocratic decision will be there, uh, does the team share the organizational goals, uh, yes then definitely there will be the participatory will be there. And in, in, in this case uh, enough information, if there is no enough information then uh, here when ultimately you end with the uh, conflict among the team over the decisions likely then the collective one will be the uh, decision will be taken, group discussions will be taken, right. So, therefore, here you will find that is in uh, on these parameters there are the different uh, um, yes uh, and no you have to uh, decision tree has to be taken care of and then accordingly you will adopt the appropriate leadership style will be there. So, uh, when uh, uh, when we will talking about the uh, suppose the conflict amongst the team over the decision is likely and if it is no then definitely in that case uh, why A2 because uh, the leader can uh, himself uh, take the decision, uh, but while taking the information from the subordinates. Whenever if we talk about this conflict among the team over the decision is uh, likely and when we are saying that is the, the team support was not there, then definitely G2 that is a participatory has to be adopted is there. In the case is the conflict is not to be taken uh, likely to occur, then definitely you can adopt for the C2 is there and then you will have this uh, uh, that collective uh, C2 uh, uh, style of the uh, dis, uh, leadership style will be adopted for the decision uh, taking the decisions. So, in a given situation, now, now these are the 7 uh, suggested suggested questions are there. Dear friends, uh, you can try your uh, own uh, uh, situation as in uh, evidence based management I have talked the last time that is the this leadership leadership is the evidence based management it is not the traditional management now. The difference between the traditional management is this that is these models are given and you have to apply that model as it is, but now but then sometimes these models are successful sometimes they are not. So, it was the research was done then it has been found that is no there are other factors also situational also. So, leader has to consider the other factors and that, that is called the uh, evidence based management what are the evidences are there, situations are there and accordingly they will decide about that is the whether this particular style of leadership will work or it will not work. Now, in the normative decision model in, in, in interactional framework is there and then definitely uh, whether the acceptance is there, right. So, if uh, there is the proper uh, uh, acceptance is there by the leader, right then definitely it will be decided accordingly is there. So, first is the uh, leader has to take these uh, the decision process preferences, what are the preferences are there and these preferences will be uh, why, why one should take because of the quality requirement. If there is a quality requirement is there then definitely you can uh, uh, focus uh, on the that what is the uh, information is there right that we have seen into the from A1, A2 uh, and the C1, C2 type of the in leadership uh, uh, the uh, uh, style for taking the decision. And uh, if uh, is, is a problem structured there is a situation is there. So, leader follows and situation that is the acceptance uh, important for the implementation if a decision mode is uh, solely by the leader will it be accepted by the subordinate or not that is also to be seen right otherwise you will take the decision and in the organization then it will not be followed. Many times it has been seen that is if leaders are taking the decision uh, which has not been uh, acceptable to the followers then there is no point of accepting that particular decision. Is conflict over preferred the solution likely and then yes if that is yes is, it is there then, then you have to take uh, the decision on the basis of uh, uh, that uh, uh, the situation uh, uh, yes and no uh, you can take the uh, help of the decision tree and on basis of the interactional framework uh, you can decide uh, that is uh, which style of leadership that you can prefer. Once uh, you decide about that particular style of leadership uh, you can plan accordingly that is the how uh, the decisions are to be taken. Now, here uh, this particular uh, uh, the concept of this uh, uh, style of the leaderships uh, on for the decision making uh, I would like to take this particular case study. 
So, Kathy McCarthy was the manager of a production department in Elvis Corporation that manufactures office equipment, the workers are non-unionized. After reading an article that stressed the benefit of participative management, Kathy believed that these benefits could be realized in her department if the workers were allowed to participate in making some decisions that affect them. Now, this will be a very common situation for many of you that is uh, 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 before uh, like this type of these discussions or the courses uh, you might be taking your own decision, but now you keep on reading the article that involve the workers or the your followers group members. Um, Kathy selected two decisions for an experiment in participative management. The first decision involved the vacation schedules, the second decision involved the production standards. So, uh, she, she thought that why not uh, I should uh, adopt the participative style of decisions and therefore, uh, these two matters that is uh, uh, the vacation schedules and the production standards. Uh, she, she decided that is for these uh, particular uh, decision strategies or policies which are to be made for these uh, vacation schedules or the production standards and that will, that will be decided on the basis of the participative management is there. And if uh, uh, this becomes the successful, then definitely she will go for this, uh, uh, this type of the participative decision making style. The first decision each summer the workers are given two weeks of vacations, but no more than two workers can go on vacation at the same time. So, uh, the earlier the decision was that is that uh, workers will go on the two weeks then, but then two workers can go on vacation at the same time. In prior years, Kathy made this decision herself that who will go and she would first ask the workers to indicate their preferred dates, then she considered how the work would be affected if uh, uh, different people were out at the same time. So, therefore, she was getting this information, information from the group members, those who want to go for the vacations and then she was deciding. It was important to play in vacation schedule and that would ensure adequate staffing for all of the essential operations performed by the department that all of us know that is work should not be suffered. When more than two workers wanted the same time period and they had similar skills, she usually gave preference to the workers with the highest productivity is there. Now, this is also a very interesting point which you, you can note down that is it, it, it is it is not the seniority rather than it is the highest productivity which has been taken into the consideration and therefore, in that case it is the merit merit based. Hmm? So, your area may not be of uh, uh, the production, but when you will, you will think that is I want to implement the same decision, then you have to consider the merit for that particular and if the two subordinates are there, they want to go for the vacation at the same time, who is the better performers that you have to see. Second decision is has been increasing steadily over the past few years and the company recently installed some new equipment to increase the productivity is there. So, help of technology was taken to increase the productivity. The new equipment would make it possible to produce more with the same number of workers. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, always we talk about the technology management you know and therefore, uh, nowadays when we are talking about the artificial intelligence uh, era. So, that in era uh, in AI era this will be the same number of workers will be having the more production is there. So, here a piece rate for each unit produced above a standard amount. So, therefore, what is incentive piece rate means that is a product, product base, how many production has been done that is a category production, there is a formula according to that formula if piece rate is done then they, there will be the standard amount will be paid. Top management wanted to readjust the production standard uh, standards to reflect the fact that the new equipment made it uh, possible for the workers to earn more without working any harder. So, therefore, these production standards uh, that is the that how new equipments are to be used um, uh, for the workers right. So, that they can have the without working any harder they can give the uh, output is there. Uh, then Kathy called a meeting of her 15 workers on hour before the end of the work day and asked them to make their recommendations. So, it was a wonderful uh, uh, trial was done by her. Kathy figured that the workers might be inhibited about uh, participating in the discussion if she were present. So, she left them alone to discuss the issues. So, that is a leaderless discussion. Nowadays, this is also becoming very, very common and popular that is uh, decisions by the group members uh, are done and without the leader. So, that, that there is always a, a leaderless uh, group discussion that, that has been uh, preferred by the 
organizations. So, here uh, when she uh, she wants to take a particular decision and when she was meeting this uh, attempt, so she what what she which type of uh, uh, the leadership she was using that is the A1, A2, A3, A4. Then in that case uh, it, it is uh, that, uh, that uh, it, it will be the there C 1, C 2 type of the leadership will be there, where the she wants, wants to discuss the issues uh, with, with the without uh, without considering uh, that uh, uh, what, what will be the, uh, the decisions making will be done uh, by the leader. So, leader is remaining absent, leader is not working there and therefore, in that case uh, it will be decided by the uh, group members. The workers response to decision 1 on the vacation issues, the group was deadlocked. Okay. And the several of the workers wanted to take their vacations during the same two week period and could not agree on who should go. So, this was a deadlock was there that is the uh, yes uh, uh, like here in India no? in Indian context uh, I would like to share my experience that whenever there is and there are the uh, this Diwali holidays. Right. So, everybody wants to go on the leave then the, this question arises that is who will go on the leave. Right. So, in some organization it is a seniority basis, in some organization it is a merit basis, right, but it is always a conflicting issue is there. So, here also the conflict was not resolved, it was there was a deadlock, deadlock was that yes all of us want to go on the uh, same uh, Diwali uh, week festival for example, uh, that is uh, for Diwali festivals we want to go to uh, all of us want to go, but at a time two can go. Some workers argued they should have priority because they had more seniority, while others argued that priority should be based on the productivity as in the past. So, therefore, in that case it is always the, um, the conflict between the, um, uh, the merit uh, and, and the seniority is there. Because it was a quitting time, the group concluded that Kathy would have to resolve the dispute herself. After all, was not that what she was being paid for? <laughs> so, therefore, in, in that case, he, the, let, let us the manager decide because he is paid for that uh, solution, this type of the problems. Workers' response to decision 2 when Kathy returned to her department just at a quitting time, and she was surprised to learn uh, that the workers recommended keeping the standards the same. The workers speaking for the group explained that their base pay had not kept up with inflation and the higher incentive pay restored their real income to its prior level. So, therefore, in that case, so it, 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 it was this uh, that is the was, again it, 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 it was the same uh, where the for the group explained uh, that uh, to keep with the inflation and the higher incentive pay restored their real income to its prior level. Uh, so, there. So, question arises where the two decision appropriate for a group decision procedure according to the vroom Vuitton model. How will you apply this? is for your assignment. And what mistakes were made in using participation and what could have been done to avoid the difficulties the manager encountered? So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, because there was no solution given by the workers right and it was left to the Kathy only. So, it means that uh, that particular process of participation that has not been, uh, been uh, found to be fruitful or complete. So, therefore, what do you think? That is uh, what mistakes have been done and uh, then uh, using these difficulties the manager uh, uh, then uh, if you are the manager how you will take a decision. So, therefore, you have to study all this uh, um, um, uh, that of rooms Welton model and then decision tree and then accordingly you have to decide um, with the help of decision tree. Now, this is the uh, research paper uh, uh, that is the educating managers for decision making and leadership. This paper describes a research program uh, spanning three decades on the development of the normative model of leadership style, uh, specifically the form and degree to which managers should involve team members in decision making is there. So, uh, here it you will find that is the this particular uh, uh, the, this leadership decision making model uh, which, which have been uh, used uh, um, with the help of this uh, uh, the uh, this case study also you can understand that is the what type of the research is required. Now, please understand every organization has to do its own research and they have to identify that is the how this rooms model uh, rooms button model of the decision making tree that that will be applicable. And and in the in in that case, uh, uh, the, the it it has to be seen that is the whether uh, these team members in decision making they are making the appropriate decisions or not. 
So, historical review of the participation decision making is conducted along with the describing the development journey of normative model of decision making for a leader is there. So, here it, it has to be seen uh, that is uh, the developmental uh, journey uh, uh, that decision making for a leader uh, that that is depends on that whatever have been uh, the history in, in uh, history review but in participation. So, in some organizations uh, like even if you encourage to participate you, but what they say boss is paid. So, in this like in this case we have saying, seen there is a boss is paid for this particular uh, style of these uh, uh, problems to be solved. Uh, therefore, in that case uh, even you are going for the participatory decision it is not working. Also, with the help of the three brief cases practical application of participation in this paper in decision making is discussed accompanied by the instances pointing out the successful implementations and challenges faced by the managers while practicing participation from followers in the decision making process is there. Uh, with the help of the normative decision making model leadership styles to be used in three different cases were identified and while looking for the applications of normative model authors found that the one CEO of a large organization. Hmm? So, therefore, this normative decision making model and that leadership style right then that, that, ha that has to be taken uh, in different cases were identified this uh, so you can refer this paper and find out this uh, this cases and like for one ceo of a large organization even sent the memorandum to senior executive to use the pencil and pen version of the model uh, whereas another government executive make it mandatory for the managers to use the bloom analysis before taking any decision right so there uh, so there one freedom was given in the one case while it was then then for the another it was found that in some cases the model did not benefited much, especially where no experiential activities were conducted after training managers in concept of the model is there and therefore, that decision making model uh, participation decision making model that has not been worked. The authors argues that did, uh, didactic expositions of the model are largely ineffective in producing behavior change unless accompanied by the experiential activities uh, which enable managers to examine their own implicit assumptions about the consequences of sharing their decision making power is there. So, therefore, in, in that case this type of the models are ineffective hmm? uh, in the producing the behavioral change that is uh, uh, asking the followers to take the decision uh, unless there is the experiential activities which uh, so experiential activities means like the Kathy has done data whether about the vacations what is your opinion. So, all of you please discuss and let me know which enables managers to examine their own implicit assumptions right. So, unless and until it is not experiential activities are not done it is very difficult to say that this model will work. The author implies that having models of when and when not to employ participation can be useful guide, but its real utility is likely to be realized with educational activities uh, designed to encourage members to examine and reflect upon their own assumptions about the leadership and the ways in which their existing behavior patterns may fall short of what is needed in today's world. So, therefore, in that case it is becoming very very important that is the uh, whatever the your decision making Hmm? Uh, that uh, model you want to apply right. So, you you, you have to educate uh, your employees unless until you do not educate you will not be successful. The books recommended uh, for this particular uh, um, uh, the uh, leadership and the decision making is uh, uh, about uh, uh, this uh, uh, the original uh, uh, this model uh, given uh, uh, authors that is a vector room and the W button and which uh, which you can uh, refer for the purpose of the, this uh, the further understanding of this book. Room and Wetton select critical aspects of leadership style, the extent to which the leader encourages the participation of his subordinates in decision making is there. And the majority describe a normative model which shows the specific leadership style called for in different classes of situations are there. So, therefore, it, it, it is becoming the very specific leadership style is there, uh, they were the different classes of situations uh, that normative model will be uh, decided and therefore, uh, uh, that uh, in, in a given situation uh, that uh, the in this book it has been mentioned that is how should the leader behave. 
So, let us behave in the different situations, uh, uh, they look at differences in leadership style and what situations induces people to display autocratic or participative behavior is there. So, that has been discussed in this particular book. Uh, so, what you can learn from this particular book is this that is the uh, if you find the similar situations as mentioned in the book, then you can try to adopt that particular style of decision making power, uh, decision making style. But uh, um, I would like to suggest that is uh, these books, uh, journal papers and all they are giving you the exposure and understanding. But uh, ultimately the decision has to be taken by the manager by his own, he, he cannot take the, he cannot copy the decisions from the books and one should not. Because there are so many dimensions are there, the very important dimension is the culture and the followers. So, uh, when we talk about the culture and followers, then definitely that you have to see that is uh, how uh, they, they are uh, 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 working at your workplace and accordingly you decide whether the uh, in a given situation this model will work or it will not work. These are the certain references uh, for this particular uh, the topic normative decision making model where you can go through these uh, books uh, and the literature and this is all about that is a normative decision making model given by the Broom and Wetton and uh, create a decision tree and take the decisions. Thank you.